Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of basket toys. <laughs> yeah, baby. So how you doing, guys? Okay. Uh, so today it's a little bit late because I sort of um, awoken. Awoken? Awake. I awoke <laughs> very late in the day. I actually uh, woke up uh, at around 7 o'clock uh, a.m. Which is uh, not the normal routine that I've gotten used to. Usually I wake up at 6 o'clock and then have my bath uh, around 6.30 then we go to 7 or that. But, but this time it's a little different. Yeah, probably because of the rain. It's very cozy to actually sleep and I overslept. I don't have any alarms and it's a good thing I woke up at 7 o'clock just when people are not yet arriving here because it would be totally embarrassing to actually be caught uh, sleeping in my bed with a uh, mosquito net and the whole shebang okay so anyway for today we weren't able to go to 7-eleven but instead we went to a very fine store it's uh and um, we got a very very filipino breakfast it is a uh, uh, plain rice mothered with uh, a mongo dish we call balado in Pampango or mongo in Tagalog. And there's also a sweet uh, sausage uh, which we call longanisa here in the Philippines. And I also got uh, eggplant omelette or uh, what's this? Talong. Yeah, torta. <laughs> It's an eggplant which is sort of uh, roasted and then uh, smothered with eggs and then fried. It's perfect. So if you haven't had anything like this, uh, you should pr probably try it at home because it's definitely delicious. It's one of the best way to prepare your eggplants. Now, what is so uh, exciting about this uh, rendezvous into this uh, in this store was the fact that um, when I saw a mug, it's an old mug, uh, it's an uh, old coffee mug, and it has Kentucky Fried Chicken with their old mascot, it's Chucky the Chicken. I asked him if I could actually buy it. Well, uh, the lady was kind enough to actually give it to me for free, but then I don't have the heart to just take it uh, from them because they're actually using it. So I paid a, a decent amount uh, in exchange for this wonderful mug. Look at that. We have Chucky there. Not the Chucky doll, but this is actually the mascot. The kitty meal mascot of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Back in the days when they were uh, always giving out a lot of the neat toys that I have uh, collected also that were added up in my collection of fast food restaurant toys. So I guess since this is uh, related to Kentucky Fried Chicken, this is uh, could very much so be considered also as a, a fast food collectible item, which I would uh, inevitably or indubitably <laughs> add to my collection as well. And uh, on the other side, we have the, the iconic continents, that iconic smile of Colonel Sanders there. This is the original mascot, the owner, the proponent of Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders. And did you know that Colonel Sanders is not really a colonel? <laughs> Probably they played around with the word since um, they're constantly using colonels in chicken. It's something related to chicken. And uh, I suppose the colonel there is a titular, a nominal title. <laughs> It's not necessarily something that was actually acquired by the very uh, venerable Colonel Sanders. Okay, so that's it. Now, let's have our breakfast. Let's give it a go. And I also got some uh, packets of coffee. We have two variants here. We have the creamy white. We have the original one. So probably after I've had my breakfast, I could basically have. And also, Rubisco peanut butter. I just love peanut butter so much. <laughs> 
whether it be in a bread or a cracker, a crunchy cracker, just like with Bisco. It's perfect. Okay, we'll try the sausage here. It's sweet. Sometimes there are other variants of the longanisa or Filipino sausage. It will come in very garlicky, salty ones, which I also like, especially when you have a condiment of vinegar and uh, uh, garlic and peppers. But it was, this one is, good, is also good because, uh, you know, for variety, like I said, sometimes you would want your meat to be a little sweeter. Yes. Incidentally. <laughs> I'm actually having breakfast with a colleague here. He's Jefferson Hitosis. Say hi, Jeff. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. On a rainy day, it's not our usual fare or 7 Elevens or McDonald's or anything, but uh, it's definitely delicious. Mm. Mm. Now, let me show you the, the torta or eggplant omelet. There, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it might look a little daunting or scary, but it's actually very delicious. I, I never, I don't know if uh, eggplants would taste the same in different countries. But, um, yeah, I guess if they basically have the same uh, taste, the same components, you could probably um, uh, prepare your eggplants just like this way, as a torta. Mmm. Mm, this is perfect. You know, I recently watched uh, this uh, blog, ASMR, where people are actually eating and they're masticating on their food and you can actually uh, you can actually hear the sound of them chewing on the food uh, back here in the Philippines it was a little bit of a no-no to actually make sounds when you're chewing but I guess in on YouTube or in other social media platforms it's actually a, a welcome treat to actually allow people to taste uh, to hear what you're actually tasting <laughs> so the So we're doing some ASMR. Is that an ASMR? Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm beginning to sound like a pig masticating on food, but all I can say is this is definitely delicious. Okay, one more bite. Mm. Okay, before I finish the meal, I just would like to say thank you so much because, uh, you know, yesterday I got, I, I received the most wonderful news because I was featured in the Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> I saw it in, the, in their official website that I, I was actually one of the featured personalities in their very renowned uh, segment and uh, in that syndicated cartoons. So I thought it was only released in their website, but apparently it was actually released in 350 newspapers from around the world. Isn't that great? <laughs> so since they have 80 million readership, so probably around 80 million, uh, more or less 80 million people were able to see my drawing, a drawing of me and my collection. And I'm very fortunate to have found one such copy because uh, since uh, one of our newspapers here in the Philippines, uh, the Philippine Star, are actually subscribed to um, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, I saw <laughs> in one of their issues that particular type. There you go. There it is. Ripley's Believe It or Not. And that is a little bit of a drawing of me. As a trivia uh, fact, or yeah, one of their trivia facts. So that is really something, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so that's it. 
okay i'm just happy can't you tell <laughs> okay so uh, that's it um and i got to say that this is just an amazing grace and so is this wonderful breakfast so once again guys uh, let us try to be thankful to god uh, for all the amazing grace that come into our lives be they in the form of uh, of this opportunity to be, to be uh, featured in the renowned replace believe it or not or this wonderful breakfast yeah <laughs> or basically guys let's be thankful to god for every amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and i thank you guys for always tuning in to purses fast with toy story thank you so much to new subscribers please do invite your other friends to also subscribe because we still have a lot more and i mean a lot more for this fast with toy story self my sleeves <laughs> okay so until the next one bye, -bye. Yes, you're right. you're straight.